What up, y'all? It's post deadlift day. Let's see, it is uh, Tuesday, 3 o'clock. Anyways, grocery store pickup cost me 50 something bucks. It was 60, but I, uh, I got a card, um, a soda, and a sub. It was like 60 and change, so we'll just call it 50 bucks for this pickup. And I guess I'll take the sub out of the picture. But <clears throat> the thing with uh, getting cheap groceries is that it's hard to get healthy groceries for cheap. So what you have to do is hit Publix often or hit your grocery store often, like, I don't know, at least once a week, maybe twice a week. That way you can just get stuff when it's on sale, which I did today. Got oats two for four, berries two for five. These were full price, so were the bananas, but they for some reason had Walden Farms on sale two for one, so I got that. Eggs at normal price and chicken at normal price. These are cheap, but here's where I say bank. Two for one, um, whatever, lettuces, uh, spinach, just greens. The problem with that is about every other week Publix puts them on sale, some kind, but my Publix has been really slacking on it, so they had it two for one, all fresh express, so I just re-upped on that, and uh, yeah, this was all 50 bucks. I know it seems like not a lot, but probably two of these a day. This will last me a week, just a couple servings every other day or something. The eggs and egg whites will last me with a scoop of protein a day. Pretty simple, pretty standard. Most people probably have some ground beef or turkey in there, but um, not cooking meat has advantages because you don't have to clean up. And I think meat is unhealthy. Obviously, it's great for building muscle, putting on mass, but I think the more meat you eat, the less healthy you are. It's just kind of by default. Obviously, it's not a serious issue, but I think it is one. So I'm gonna eat this sub. My dad's calling me, it's sick. Hey dad, what's up? Hey, what's up? so sick, the epic timing when the parents call. Filming a video, putting groceries away, trying to get a meal in so I can go back to campus. Horrible. But it's all good. My dad's the ish. Anyways, I'm gonna set this down and come down to your level. Tripoding. I usually do about two to four tablespoons. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this with the sub. I guess I'll open this up for you. Sub life, public sub, the Devin Palumbo special, the meat special. This time, I usually get an ultimate or something like that. Well, not something like that, I usually get an ultimate. I had the turkey and cranberry seasonal one, which was fire. But today, I switched it up real old school and just got turkey and cheese with a lot of veggies. But standard turkey and cheese, not even flavored. A tablespoon of mayo and then a bunch of spicy mustard. So that's it guys, let's eat. Hey guys, giving you all an update of my last meet at the USAPL South Eastern Regional Championship. What up guys, it's Thursday, just got home. I'm gonna open up this box. I think I put the grocery pickup before this from Tuesday, but this is something I ordered a few days ago. Let's just get right into it. I went ahead and opened up this package right here from Species Nutrition. So, two things I ordered on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, before this should be the grocery pickup video, I trained with a subscriber yesterday, picked up the groceries Tuesday, but I kinda just wanted to do like, not a week of bodybuilding or a week of training, but I'm getting a massage later too, so I'll take you guys along and maybe get this video uploaded tonight before uh, my training session tomorrow. But, macadamia nut oil. The reason this is good or better than other oils, it has a high smoke point, it doesn't burn. Um, I'm not aware of what the research says or what the scientific claims are. I really don't give a shit. Um, apparently, cooking with oils and burning the oils to where they smoke is not good for you, it's not good for the oil, and uh, it's not good for the nutritional value of the oil or the fats. So, macadamia nut oil has a high smoke point, it won't burn, which means you can put it in your pan, cook your chicken in it, or put it in your rice cooker, boil it, put it in your pasta, boil it. It apparently has a really good buttery flavor. And this, I've taken glucosamine and chondroitin supplements uh, before, but the stuff you get at the grocery store or at any supplement company is usually one to two grams of each. This is four grams of glucosamine sulfate, four grams of MSM, 300 milligrams of chondroitin, six milligrams of boron, and 40 milligrams of this chicken cartilage stuff. I've never heard of it. I guess it's like experimental or just recently studied, but 
take this twice a day and you get those gram dosages. So, um, according to Dave, he's felt a difference taking the dosages this high. Um, I really doubt it, but it's worth trying because I've spent 40 bucks buying a bunch of these before for one month or two months and they didn't do anything and I didn't really want to take it because I didn't think it was going to do anything, but I'm really willing to give this a shot. It's 10 pills a day. So my current supplements are going to be this for sure. Two to three grams of fish oil a day, two to three grams of CLA a day, uh, three to five thousand or three to five grams of vitamin D3, creatine monohydrate, and super assistance, which I have, and I haven't noticed the difference. But yeah, the basics are going to be your essential fats and just your essential uh, collagen uh, supplements. So we'll see how it works. I'll let you guys know if it's worth it. I mean, I'll be honest, it's probably not worth it, but it's willing. I'm willing to give it a shot. So I'll do a review on this when I cook with it. It's about one o'clock. I got a massage at three before class. I haven't had deep tissue in forever. Um, so I'm gonna go get that done and I'll see you guys maybe there. All right guys, so we are back at Fitness Depot because the whey protein I bought, I didn't show you guys, but um, the first ingredient was whey protein concentrate. The second ingredient was milk protein concentrate. Now, I don't take protein a lot. The last protein I had, I think, was um, just 100% isolate. Or it was actually Optimum Nutrition, but the first ingredient was 100% isolate. So I returned it and paid like a $20 difference and just got hydrolyzed ISO 100 diametized instead. The first ingredient is hydrolyzed whey protein isolates. Then it's natural and artificial flavors. Stevia and sucralose, whatever. So the reason I got this is because the other one was upsetting my stomach, especially drinking it by itself. So like if I ever want to bring this to campus uh, to have after, in between classes or just to have on the go, obviously the way we need protein and we don't have want to spend money on a meal, stuff like that. I can't be drinking the 100% concentrate, or the mostly concentrate, because it does upset my stomach. So be aware, guys. Um, virtually everyone is lactose intolerant. Some people just don't have a problem with it, but for some people it's significant. I can drink a decent amount of milk, you know, a couple cups with my cereal, but if I just drink that like two times a day, I won't probably have, uh, uh, I won't have like a regular stomach. They'll definitely be upset. And you can't be farting at work or farting in class. Y'all know that feeling. Especially when you're eating and drinking a lot of water, bloat plus gas is horrible. So I'll stick with the bloat and just keep my ice away and keep making gains. Massage time. Massage post pizza. Nothing like it.